hoping that Ren Esports needs to lose O2 here. Otherwise, Signal might be out of contention already. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's all about the other team. A lot of people are watching, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> Very sure. Very important match today. Indeed, and as yeah. we go to the Land of Dawn, this is Game 1 of our second series. Ladies and gentlemen, LPE versus the World Champions and the Defending Champions of Season 6, Ren Esports. And look at this. Rockheart, Brand Esports right now really playing aggressively as Lusty trying to invade the jungle and is really being contested by BMO as we look in our tri cam all lanes top lane Ryota against Flap TZ, Jake the dog and Rebo in the bottom lane and the tri lane here or the tri mid lane is now being heavily contested by Bren and Lusty yeah. is also going for those invades as Aspect move towards the purple the buff and probably secure his own buff. So there's just a little bit of a timing here that Bren Esports can kind of, or sorry, that LPE can mm -hmm. actually kind of take advantage of. Uh -huh. That's the time where the Lancelot doesn't have the Phantom Execute yet. Yeah, Phantom so execution, the power spikes. Yeah, the power spike of Bren Esports around level 4, level 5, around the mid lane. Uh, and that's the time where LPE can do stuff on the map. But it looks like it's gonna be a different story here because LPE is the one getting pressured mm. on the side lane. Yes, I agree. As there's a lot of traps there from Popo being thrown out to the bottom lane and forced Jake the Dog to a TP in and recall to get his life back as normal. As we look into the top lane here, we're looking at a concussive blast plus an ionic edge trying to force back Ryota, but Ryota is way too tanky. Look at this, the deadly Florence and uh, also the ancient seed healing just giving a lot of time for LPE to sustain that lane. Yep, again, LPE is gonna have to be really Really careful with Aspect. We've talked about Aspect before. Oh, big team fight here. Oh, again with the Phantom Execution. Not enough damage. Again, the last bullet from Aspect's uh, Dead Sonata is uh, will not gonna connect. But you will we see the aggression of Brand Esports here? Just, uh, just really aiming to get that uh, that or that opportunity to play aggressively. But LPE with their current draft, I think it's really difficult to burst it out since we've talked, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Rockheart, the uh, the timings of this, their, their core heroes, Carl TZ is already level four. And we all knew how aggressive Carl TZ is once he's able to get his comfort hero. Yep. He's really showing the finesse of this hero right Isn't now. the most aggressive junglers in the whole I world. Agree. I think I we, the panel talked about that. Again, he is the benchmark. He is the golden standard. Yeah. So if they can keep up with Aspect, I believe this mid game is going to be a lot of fun for us to watch. Rennie Sports though. Boy, Crystal being placed into the of uh, Federated Airstrike plus the reward manipulation. They will take the first blood. Ryota will take it in. Arbs with a nice flicker out, trying to disengage. But Lusty with Cop, with Popol and Koopa. They will take another revenge kill. One for one exchange for both teams. But look at the position of Brent Esports right now. Just really waiting for another opportunity as Aspect moves forward oh, with the Rhapsody here. A little bit off the mark, but Bimo is there to help him out. Be nice. Oh, again oh. with the I'm offended. Lusty locking him in inside the tier 2 turret with oh. the taunt from the recall. Bimo, again, he is the guy that you gotta watch out for. He can do some really unexpected stuff when you give him an opportunity. And I'm really liking this here for LPE. The thing is, Aspect, uh, you gotta keep those trigger fingers in yeah. gentle, man. The angles are the a The angle is off. currently acute. Yeah, <laughs> acute a, little, angle. a few degrees lower maybe sometimes. Maybe it's just the nerves, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But uh, that gave them an opportunity to get back off the tr on the track as LPE currently in the lead right now when it comes to KDA. But look at the net worth, 10.3 here. As Feathered Airstrike is now being used by few, trying to force back LPE away from the turtle as Flap TZ and Lusty trying to defend the turtle cave. Ryota moving forward here. Oh. Bimo taking a lot of shots there. Plus the curse wheel with manipulation again, trying to catch out Carl TZ, but Carl TZ with a movement from the from the puncture is able to get out easily but flap tz here moving forward a lot of ionic edge stacks here and also from the radiance as the oh again the damage from the curse crowd from few taking one in bimo will take another kill here one for one exchange as lpe and brand esports still aiming to get that turtle at bimo trying to run away 
Be nice. Oh, Koopa. And the Koopa is way too tanky. Man. Oh my goodness. Look at how the uh, the itemization and also the, the emblems build up from Brand Esports. They're really at its full potential. Yeah. The one thing I don't really like what LPE is doing is they're grouping up a lot. Oh. You don't group mm. up against a lineup like this. There is just so much potential for Flap to do damage. Same with Rebo. Same with View. It's a Farsa analysis. Yeah. They don't stick together as much as possible, but they're choosing the fight around these areas where it's just so compressed. Yeah. So they really love us. They Jake the dog with a Zaman Force. Forced B Rebo out of the lane and also Aspic with a Death Sonata. But look at this. Brand Esports. Curse Crow into the Feathered Airstrike. Bimo half HP. He needs to run away. But the last strike from the Feathered Airstrike is enough for him to go down. Ryota as he flickered out of the fight. And the turtle will be taken by Carl TZ. They're giving in Carl TZ's wishes. He is getting everything he wants on the map so far. Bottom lane is also an easy target, so expect this goal to balloon even further. Yeah, as we can see, as the brand esports move forward, Phantom Execution, not enough to take Jake the dog out, as the dog from the other side on brand esports yep. is also trying to catch his behind. Jake the and dog being chased out by a dog. By a dog, yeah. That's, wow, goodness. As brand esports able to take the first turret out of the way as LPE trying to fight into the middle lane with a feathered airstrike by at the behind of uh, Brand Esports. But BMO and the rest of the crew, LPE still trying to get their footing up. Yeah, interestingly enough, it's it just feels so difficult at this point for LPE to get back in this one just because of you know, the pressure that's being given by the Popolink Koopa. Yeah. Lusty almost single-handedly controlling the map for Bren Esports. While the rest of the team just wants to go in and anytime he wants. Mm -hmm. Like, Lusty's the one who's making the zones happen. I and I like the performance here so far for Bren. That's true. And look at this. Again, we're, we're talking about <laughs> Lusty. This guy. He just went inside as the turret will hit Flap TZ out of the way. The Rhapsody a little bit or half of it will connect. Seriously? But the Death Sonata from, uh, from Aspect did not connect as Flap TZ with the emotes trying to taunt LPE. Why? Oh my goodness. You're, you're really surprised about that, uh, Rockhart. What are your thoughts about that, man? <laughs> the angles were so off. <laughs> like, literally. Oh my god, oh my. he was hitting dirt. Or maybe is it grass. because of the jukes of, of Uranus with the additional movements? I guess that's, that's also, also a another bonus. Uh, move speed, heavy targets are difficult to hit, but yeah. come on, it was so far. Oh yeah, man. Uh, oh my goodness, as the Federal Airstrike will land on the bad. top of the heads of Aspect here, force him to move away. And disengage from that fight as the turtle will respawn and also call TZ just in time waiting for the next turtle. And Brand Esports occupying the top lane as LPE still trying to get their farm. Yeah, so the only upside I can see for Aspic right now is at least he's not dying. Yeah, that's right? true. He's not dying, he's mm. getting some of that farm back. But of course Brand Esports all over the map, they're getting small advantages. Slowly but surely. And over time, if this continues... It's going to be insurmountable. This Uranus is going to be unkillable later on. You cannot reach the Farsa for sure. And Carl TZ, he's going to assassinate the Granger. So time is of the essence here for, for LPE. It's all about time and positioning. As Rockheart is, uh, what pointed it out, they need to capitalize on their advantage as soon as possible because they went for Aspect and Aspect KDA is not that good, but he's slowly getting there when it comes yeah. to items. He already was trying to go for the Blade of Heptasis here. Uh, get that additional armor penetration on top of the Raptor Machete. But when it comes to stack, for sure, Aspic had a lot of time to get that 15 stacks up and running. As Ren Esports now moving towards the bottom lane, trying to go for a catch. As Bimo trying to uh, hide himself. Arms, look at the arms here. Just one more strike, but that is still enough. Able to run away, but no! 23 seconds on the sidelines. And also LP get the next change as well. Flaptizi again trying to move away and isolate Jake the dog here stunned now get punished by Carl TZ Rhapsody where's the normal attacks he will be secure the Carl TZ kill here as a wipeout wipe. on the side of Brand Esports five for two exchange but look at Brand stitching their objectives out of the way as they take the bottom turret as well I feel like Carl TZ didn't even need to die there but he chose to stick around try to wait for an opportune target customized but again the wipeout is something very difficult to deal with here yeah for LP. Oh, look at that. The I'm Offended ultimate from Ruby did not connect. 
And Flapteezy just abusing the fact that he's way too tanky right now, now controlling the lane equilibrium in the bottom lane. And this instant replay is brought to you by Oppo A94. Experience gaming at full speed with Oppo A94. Get yours now for only one three nine nine nine. Yeah, I could really hear you when you were saying like, "Ooh, look at that arms almost going down!" Right? Yeah. I could feel the crunchiness of the feathered airstrike, <laughs> and at the mo at the same time, the rest of Brand Esports were collapsing in a very tight area, compressed again. They baited out LPE for like how many times already in this game? And that's a choke point, right? That's a choke point. You don't Indeed. fight Bren in those areas, but LPE they went for it. Bren baited them out very nicely, netting them that wipeout. Indeed, and uh, as we go back to our live stream, uh, a, a fight actually happened and Lusty went down. Eight seconds for this young guy. As we look into the items here, uh, and this battle is now being uh, queued by, uh, by Carl Teasy on top of the Blade of Heftesis plus the Raptor Machete. And for the Alice, Calamity Reaper going now going for the Holy Crystal. Just needs a little bit of uh, gold at 430 as he went for the uh, Impure Rage rather instead of the uh, Mystery Shop. Yeah. So LPE now still trying to get the momentum up and running as we look into our kill score 6 to 8. But look at the net worth, man. Net worth is just rocketing skyrocketing like i said it's slow but it's short oh, oh. again the i'm offended surprise getting arms a kill with the real world manipulation that's a good start here for lpe is trying to taunt him out with the thorn rose plus the puncture he's trying to get away as rebo moving at the back lines here blood oh slowing him down plus the blood oh combo flowing blood as well but he went back to control the rest of ryota and bimo and he will be punished or maybe not he does have the winter truncheon trying to get out and he will as the rest of Grand Esports now trying to get the missing members or the low members of LPE. 2 4 nil exchange for Brand Esports. How did they manage to do that? I think that's just because of get sacrificed by Flap Keezy. He's doing a great job in zoning, in that, zoning out the opposition despite that great pickoff from LPE, which they should have been really doing for a long time now. Yeah. They were able to really get in, into a position where. You know what? We can lose one guy, we can keep up. We Do still have enough damage on our other members. Yeah, just trading it out as uh, as Bren Esports is now occupying yes. the uh, the jungle area of LP, making it difficult for Aspect to get his buff up. And as the Lord is now being taken by Bren Esports, Flap is just zoning the rest of LP. You can't go near the Lord area as I boxed them out and zoned the rest of LP out. As you can see, the Rhapsody even hitting Flapteezy, not damaging that much. Yeah, you can tell. I, this is what I'm talking about, right? He can do this and more, and LP is aware. So mm -hmm. they're respecting Flapteezy so much, and he's giving the team so much farm just by being visible on LP's vision on the map. So because of that, Brent Esports, other members, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna go have a, a little bit of a vacation. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go around and see the sights and sounds of the land of dawn, and we're gonna get destroyed. some gold. And that's exactly how Brent is just ballooning to ten thousand gold. Wow, leader. ten thousand gold lead, ladies and gentlemen. And the Lord is also marching into the bottom lane as the rest of Brent Esports are just trying to take their sweet time getting the farm and also stealing the buffs away from LPE and BMO yep. uh, and the rest of the Real crew now. Yeah. <laughs> Real in tune, They're just really confident. They're Absolutely. still not afraid that they're on the lead right now. Look at the mid, Fuse the guy cutting in front of the tower. Like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> and of course on the bottom, they will be able to deal with the Zoya. Oh, as Feathered Airstrike will rain from above with a nice I'm offended hook, but he's able to run away with the wings by wings into a real world manipulation, not hitting anyone. Flap TC is also there on the back lines with the Be Nice Wolf King <laughs> here. Aspect just playing around with Flap TZ as Flap TZ is also playing the rest of LPE. Single handedly and zoning them. Yeah, single handedly zoning them out and just trying to grab the attention of LPE as the rest of Brand Esports is converging at the top lane, going for another push. Yep, and everyone, they're on the field trip, man. They're having a lot of fun. Here comes the pain, though. Itemization on the farce is really immense. Hits arms a few. Wrath of the Dryad is now being saved up and being queued by uh, by Ryota as the rest of Brand Esports and LPE trying to defend their own base to get that W for this game one as the last turret standing for LP is now been destroyed. LP needs to do and stop the bleeding as the Feathered Airstrike now again being used by Pew here trying to isolate Ryota. Ryota half HP is way too tanky but that's it. 
it's still enough to soak the damage from Bren. We're getting close to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, Bren Esports are all, they've surgically, methodically removed all of the towers here. The inhibitors for oh LPE. And uh, this is going to make the, the defense just so much more difficult here. That's true. And uh, Bren knew that they're ahead. And that's why they're playing it safe, as uh, as Rockheart mentioned earlier. And look at this. There's just almost 80% or 90% of the map is now being occupied by Bren. They're choking LPE inside their base, preventing them from getting any farm at all. Oh, man. Few with the hits on the Feathered Airstrike. Oh, man. Every bush that you ap approach, you're going to have to assume that there is a Farsa or, or, or a Lancelot <laughs> just waiting stalking. there. Either that or a trap. Yeah, you know, just that's like a, a snake, right? Just, just like waiting a for snake someone to, to, slithering around the grass. Oh, Don't man. show your feet or else you will get you beat punched. Out. Oh my goodness, look at the items here. Even Lusty with his dominance eyes giving the uh, enough slow for the attack speed and the movement speed of LPE, making it difficult for them to disengage. However, but look at this, Bren Esports now really confident with the recall and the emotes. Yep. Uh, just waiting for the next wave here to come in and enter the territory of LPE as the Federated Airstrike again starting things off. Thorn Rose did not connect, but BMO is way too tanky still with full HP. Yeah, Youngblood's definitely having a hard time against the veterans here in the league. Oh. The rest of the, of the squad here, at least for Red Esports, they're kind of respecting the possibility of, a de of the damage output. For LP, they're not forcing the fight yet, so maybe they want to go for the Lord a little mm. bit more precision. If you have the Lord on your back, it'll be a lot easier for the push. So at least there is that respect coming in for Brent. That's a good point, Rockheart. And uh, so that's the reason why they're playing it safe. They're just waiting for the next Luminous Lord here. Uh, 7 to 10 at the moment. 13k net worth lead for, uh, for Brent Esports. But look at the items. Look at how tanky Flap TZ is. Oracle, Br Brute Force Breastplate, uh, Athena Shield, Enchanted Talisman plus the AC. That's how difficult. Uh, in what, what do you need to do here? Maybe do you need a more of a armor penetration for this mm -hmm. again? Because he's taking just all of the damage from LP and baiting all of their cooldowns. Yeah, the thing is, LP already has the Necklace of Durant, right? Uh -huh. The problem is, Flap TZ doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> like, he's going to be able to regenerate just because of the amount of HP, base HP and armor that he already has. So, oh. good point. Armor Pen could do the trick. But Flap, he's not giving them the opportunity to, to use those items. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Flap TZ, look at how confident Flap TZ is as he's just trying to uh, bait LPE's position. Come at me, bro. Come, come at, at me. me. Come on. Come on, come at me. I got, I got the stuff. You know you want You it. know you want <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Yeah, that's the thing. With three people constantly checking on Flap, the rest of Bren, again, can do whatever they want to do on the map. Oh, look at the view there on the, on the bottom right-hand corner as the Lord, the face of the Lord is also streaming in. Real world manipulation being used and also the Federated Airstrike who will contest. Arbs here in the bottom lane, but look at the few here. Arbs who's still able to get the secure kill on the real world manipulation. Jake the dog just right to get for Flap TZ. Flap TZ is still regenerating as the Alice is also using the Winter Truncheon to get that mo most of the damage here. Now the Lord has been taken out. LPE successfully defending their base against the strike of Brand Esports. Also catching one member out, Fuse down for the count. Yeah, I gotta admit that looked like it was gonna be a difficult defense, but the wave clear for LPE is actually pretty good, man. Yeah. They got uh, they got Proto dashes for days, obviously with Zaman Force. You've also got the E with unlimited artillery in his, in his hands. So the clear is gonna be really, really good. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, huh, there's no offensive capabilities. Yeah, like, that's a good point. The only win can do without the rest of Brand Esports diving on their backline, mm -hmm. diving on the Eve, they can break it defend. Yeah. But the Eve also has to be super careful. Same with Aspect, because he's in a very vulnerable state. Because Rebo, he's not afraid to dive anymore. I agree. He's just going to go in, he has the Winter Trenchant, he's going to do some damage. And we saw that we, earlier, right? We saw that earlier around the base. So you got to keep your eyes open if you're Aspect. And if you're Arbs. Yeah, Arbs here and Rebo as we speak, trying to use the flowing blood, trying to check the brushes out of the way as Bimo able to get that uh, has claws additional uh, lifesteal for, for Bimo's Ruby. And uh, look at this, LPE, they've been defending for quite some time now. Yeah. And uh, we're looking at the starvation technique 
of uh, of Brand Esports here, just starving LP yeah. inside their base. It's a war of attrition. You yeah, cannot attrition. get any gold here. Only the minions, and of course, at the same time, while well, you're getting that, we're getting all your jungle, we're getting all the big oh. objectives. Not to mention, you cannot get any towers. So, as uh. time progresses, 15,000 gold in here for Red Esports. Low kill count, though. Yeah, low eight, kill count. 8 to 10. It's it's yeah. I think it's all about economy. It's uh, all about that's the what economy. you're trying to say, right? And uh, I think their 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 turrets they can still use their turrets for the next game, for the next for the next series. They got I'm a lot kidding. of reserves. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> but no look, no maintenance required. No maintenance required. I like it. Yeah, but yeah. look look at this. Look at the items of uh, LPE here. Well, as we go back to the game, I think the Oracle is enough for Arbs here, getting that additional uh, shield once he uses his sort of real world manipulation. Yeah, slowly and catching up. Yeah, yeah slowly yeah. catching up. And Aspic as well. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think that they will go for the uh, for the Blade of Despair, or they will go for the uh, Hunters or the Malefic Roar rather? Yeah, I actually don't know. At this point, I'm scared to find out. All right, there you go. So there I think the thing that we have to think about here is Hunter's Fury is already locked in. Uh, Aspect, despite being 0, 1, and 5, he does have the items, yeah. at least. So they'll be ready to go for fights when uh, when Bren goes for it. But they're going to be a in a little bit of a disadvantage. I especially agree. in terms of positioning, because the traps are everywhere. Yeah, and uh, look at how fast Bren, Bren Esports are taking out the Lord. And there's no way that LP can contest it. Look at look at Flapteezy here. It's just like a, a moving turret. If you get close, yeah, I'll soak all the damage, but He's you can't tough. kill me. Yeah, the armor is real. For yeah, Flap. for and sure. Also, you can't really CC him for long because uh -huh. he has all of that uh, anti-magic resistance. You got the anti-crowd control locked in. So you can't hold down the, uh, the Uranus for much longer. And this is also a big reason why he is such a big pick in the previous season. I mean, right now, I think it's only a few teams that are picking up the Uranus, right? Yeah, I Compared agree. Compared to before. Yeah, that's true. But Maybe that, uh, for our week one, we've seen a lot of uh, Uranus pick, but as Brand Esports, oh, going back to the game go here. For it. Oh, they will go for it indeed. And look at Brand Esports, they're trying to focus fire on the main inhibitor, but the uh, LP says no. But.